I don't want to amplify or give too much of credence to such uh, extremists who make threats and get a lot of coverage. But as I said, I don't uh, want, you know, the extremists and terrorists have a tendency of wanting media coverage on, on an issue, and I wouldn't like to dignify them that way. Let me make a larger point, of course, that we would condemn such any threat of this nature. We take this seriously, and our security agencies will take appropriate action. Look, as you know, um, that in the individual you named um, is uh, wanted in our by our agencies for you know, violation of the law. And there is a process under which we seek assistance. We seek that they be prosecuted. It depends on whether the crime is committed. In our case, I think requests have gone through uh, detailing the kind of crimes that, are, that uh, he's responsible for in India. Uh, we are caught in a bind here. I don't want to amplify or give too much of uh, credence to such uh, extremists who make threats and get a lot of coverage. But on the other hand, we take this seriously. In this particular case, I know that we have taken up this matter with the, I think, U.S. and Canadian authorities about this threat. But as I said, I don't uh, want, you know, the extremists and terrorists have a tendency of wanting media coverage on, on an issue, and I wouldn't like to dignify them that way. I am not sure about the the Air India one, a recent one. I know last month they had, they had threatened on a particular date, and I think that issue was something on our radar. I'll have to check. Uh, but let me make a larger point, of course, that we would condemn such any threat of this nature. We take this seriously, and our security agencies will take appropriate action. Uh, uh, you know, if there, if there are people are being discouraged to use the word, I don't know what that means, were they threatened, were they not allowed, but we certainly would not be happy with that. And if there are incidents where there are criminal activities or we feel there's a threat, uh, we will take appropriate uh, action uh, abroad. Look, as you know, um, that in the individual you named um, is uh, wanted in our, by our agencies for you know, violation of the law. And there is a process under which we seek assistance, we seek that they be prosecuted. It depends on whether the crime is committed. In our case, I think requests have gone through uh, detailing the kind of uh, crimes that are that uh, he's responsible for in India, and hence uh, why what kind of assistance we would require from the uh, foreign countries. But your question was more about the threats he's making there. Um, yes, we have of course flagged uh, concerns uh, to our partners about uh, any any threats threats made by extremists or terrorists against India, against Indian diplomats or you know, our properties, etc. And we do take it up from time to time, and there is ongoing conversation, there is security cooperation. Some of it, uh, we've seen results, some of it we haven't, and this will be the ongoing process. <laughs>